Love from Live Love Laugh 1199 and today I'm going to be testing Fluffy Slime and this was requested and I actually thought of doing this as well so I'm super duper excited for this video. Also this is a collab with Courtney Lauren Grabin and you guys should make sure to check out her channel. She is testing out I believe Karina Garcia's DIYs. So I'm really, really excited to see her video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you show her some love. And hello if you are new here. I would totally appreciate it if you could go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. Um, and make sure you go ahead and click the notification bell. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you want to see more testing videos. And make sure you leave a comment telling me what you would like to see next. And make sure you follow us on Pinterest. So now without further ado... Let's just get into this video. Let's go. <laughs> so the first step is you're going to need a cup of warm water. And you're also going to need one teaspoon of borax. So you're just going to go ahead and pour the borax into your warm water. And just start mixing up the water and borax until it is evenly combined and becomes a borax and water solution. So after the borax has dissolved, you're just going to go ahead and put this mixture aside and we will use it later in this DIY. So the next step is to take half a cup of glue and um, you're just going to measure this out. But I found that a 4 ounce bottle of glue basically is about almost half. Um, so you could just pour this in there if you have a 4 ounce bottle of glue. So you're just going to go ahead and get that out. So now you can take this half of cup of glue and just grab a bowl to mix all your ingredients in. And just go ahead and pour this whole half cup of glue right into the bowl. So your next step is to take your shaving cream. And it can be literally any shaving cream that you have. And you're just going to take half a cup of shaving cream and put that into the bowl. And since I had a one-fourth measure, I had to do it two times. But you just want to have the same amount of shaving cream as you have glue in your bowl. And at this time, it literally looked like guts. So, uh, yeah. So next, you want to take a foaming hand soap and just put a little bit of pumps into your shaving cream and glue. You don't really need an exact amount, just a little bit of pumps into this. So now you're going to want to just mix these three ingredients up and combine them. This smelled like so good because the shaving cream and soap like it just smelled super sweet and fresh. So your next step is to take a tablespoon of cornstarch and just throw that into the bowl. And this just got really messy for me. Like, this was super clean slime to make, but putting the cornstarch in my hands just got, like, really messy. But anyway, you just want to mix the cornstarch into the other ingredients in this bowl. And with the cornstarch, the ingredients started kind of to get thicker. So your next step is to take any color of food coloring if you do want to add color to your slime. And just put some drops into it to make it the color you'd like. And since I was making pink, I just put one small drop of red into my mixture. And you can just go ahead and mix the food coloring into your slime. And I did end up adding a couple more drops in between this process. So the next step is to add in about two tablespoons of contact solution into the bowl. Um, so 
just go ahead and add that and this is not necessary but I feel like it helped the slime quite a bit so I would I would recommend adding it but it is not totally necessary so now you can just go ahead and mix in the contact solution until everything is kind of put together so just go ahead and mix that in and it made the ingredients start to stick together and clump up and become more of a slimy kind of texture as you can see so now you just want to add in your borax and water solution slowly in, in little intervals and stuff by putting some in and mixing it together and this is what is going to kind of make the slime come together even more and not stick to your hand so it'll be really easy to play with but it's not going to be a hassle or a mess so as you can see I'm like mixing and making it like go into there and adding more and just I repeated that until I felt the consistency of the, of the slime was what I liked so here's how it looks after I took it out and started kneading it um, and I really like it and the more you knead it the more stretchy and playable it becomes so make sure you do knead it don't like skip this step and it wasn't messy to do or anything so in the end here is my result of fluffy slime it was so so much fun to play with it wasn't as fluffy as I thought it would be but it was still super duper fun and cool and it wasn't like your normal like first type of slime and this batch made quite a bit as you can see I have this whole thing and then the, I have that little like part of slime too so yeah it's just really fun to play with I'm doing different things with it so it is like thicker and fatter um so yeah it's not like typical slime like I said but it's not like this fluffy stuff that I thought it would be like if you know what I mean hopefully you know what I mean but yeah but I totally give this like a five out of five still I love this DIY I'm gonna totally remake it in so many different colors and I think you should definitely try it out as well. Okay guys, so that is this video. Um, I'm so happy that it worked. I love this slime so much. It's like awesome. Um, and like when you pull it apart, you see like little air bubbles. And that like is kind of what makes it fluffy. And it's really soft. It's not as slimy as normal slime. Um, so I really, really like this. And it was super easy to make, like I said. And yeah, so I'm just really happy this worked. I made a lot more, as you guys saw. Um, this is just a little bit of it. It's like awesome. That was this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up if you did. Check out Courtney Lauren Grabbin. Make sure you subscribe to her channel. Give her video a huge thumbs up. And if you are new, I'd really appreciate it if you could go ahead and subscribe. And make sure you have your notifications on for this channel. So that is about it. I will see you guys later. Bye. Let's go.